Hi everyone, today in Kani's Kitchen, I'm going to actually show you guys on how to prepare a simple dal using pressure cooker. Alright, so um, these are the ingredients needed. Firstly, this is dur dal. Alright, now this is how the dur dal actually looks like. So I've taken one cup. Okay, I've taken one cup in this. This is the measurement, one cup of this. And what I've done is that I have actually soaked it in water for around 30 minutes. Okay, so this will help to soften the dal. As you can see, it has actually become moist and soft like this, you see. So, and I've actually washed them. So, this is prepared. Okay, now the next ingredient you will need is tomato. This is one tomato. And then I've taken one small onion. And this is like around four garlic four pieces of garlic and you will need some curry leaves a dry chili one green chili and you will need this is cumin and asifodida and you also you'll need turmeric and mustard seeds okay so let's get started okay so now the first step is i'm going to actually throw in the dal into the pressure cooker okay all in next goes in the garlic okay and then followed by the onions this is a very quick meal a uh, quick dish that can be prepared if you're using pressure cooker if you're not using pressure cooker if you're going to use a normal pot it's still possible to make this dish but it will take longer for the dal to cook in pressure cooker it cooks pretty fast okay and then in goes the green chilies and lastly followed by the tomatoes okay i'm also adding in just a quarter teaspoon of the cumin seeds a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder as well after this, give all this a good mix. We are not going to add salt at this stage. Salt will only be added in later. Okay. Okay, now we are going to add in the required amount of water. Using the same cup that I took the dal, I'm adding in the first cup. Okay, I've added three cups of water give it a good mix so now i'm actually closing the lid locking it okay and i'm going to on the stove okay so i've already on the stove so we will let this cook in medium heat okay for around three whistles once you hear three whistles we can actually stop the stove Okay, there goes the first whistle. And this is the second whistle. So one more whistle and we will stop the stove. Okay, so I'm going to actually off the stove right now. And in a while, I will check to see if the dal has been cooked. So normally, before you open a pressure cooker, you have to release the hot air that is inside by lifting this up. So as you can see, when you lift it up, all the hot air will be coming out. So keep doing this until all the hot air has been released before you actually open the pressure cooker because if you do not release the hot air and you open it up it might explode it's very dangerous so please be careful when you're using a pressure cooker at home make sure all the hot air is actually released okay so as you can see right now all the hot air has been released and there's no more smoke coming out so right now it's safe to actually open it
okay so as you can see So you can see the dal has been cooked very well and after this I'm going to give, give it a good smash. See? The dals are cooked perfectly. So after this I'm going to on back the stove. Okay, so at this stage I'm going to add the required amount of salt. Alright, and after this would be tempering, we are going to temper the ingredients on a separate pan. Okay, so let this cook for a couple of minutes. Okay, so as you can see, I've taken another small pan to actually heat up the ingredients needed for tempering okay so I'm adding in a little bit of ghee if you do for those who do not like ghee you can just use normal oil okay so I'm adding in mustard seeds a teaspoon a quarter teaspoon of cumin And I'm adding in the curry leaves and the dry chilies as well. Finally, add in the asafoetida as well. Okay. And then give this a good mix. And after this, we are going to actually throw in this into the dal mixture. Okay, I think that will be enough. So now we are going to transfer this inside the dal. And give this a good mix. So you can see the dal has turned up very well and it took me less than half an hour to actually prepare this. See? Check for seasonings at this stage and if everything's okay, you can actually off the stove and your dal is done. Do try this simple dal in your home and leave me a comment on how it turned out. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my future videos as well. Thank you and have a good day.